So guys, now that we have here our controller, which is working very well, okay? Now we can persist data into database and so on. Now it's time to send the customer that we are creating into Kafka. Now we are going to publish the event, okay? Into Kafka using the pattern publish subscribe. If you want to know more about publish sub subscribe, just go back to our videos in this area and you will understand what is pub subscribe pattern, okay? Publish subscribe pattern. So as you know, guys, we have here in our project, the Spring Cloud Stream Kafka, okay? Dependency. So this is the unique dependency that we need in order to produce an event into Kafka. For example, we could just replace Kafka to RabbitMQ and it will work the same, okay? Just changing the binding and uh, the binder in this case, okay? And changing the messaging broker. In our case, we are going to use Kafka, but you can follow the same, the same example using RabbitMQ by changing here instead of Kafka, RabbitMQ, right? So, we have here the dependency. Now we need a Kafka, okay? We need to run Kafka in our machine. We need to run Kafka on our machine. So in order to do that, I'm just going to, to share with you guys my Docker compose file, okay? I'm just going to copy from other our uh, projects. So I'm just going to paste it here. Let me edit, okay? So now here we have uh, the zookeeper for those who understand how Kafka works. So the Kafka needs zookeeper in order to, to, to work, okay? Because the zookeeper is uh, the one that um, actually uh, manage the, the broker, the leaders and so on and register them, okay? It's just the zookeeper, just take a look at documentation. So here we have uh, the zookeeper image, okay? We have the Kafka. And also the next thing that we have here is this one, AKHQ, okay? The AKHQ is a um, web UI which allow us to visualize our Kafka topics, what we have in terms of uh, messaging in our topics and so on, okay? We can even see more. I'm just going to show you guys because I have because I, uh, I have it here running, okay? So this is the AKHQ. And in my case, my Docker is running already, okay? So as you can see, I have um, the Zookeeper, I have the AKHQ, which is this web interface here that I use to, to see my events and my topics, my schemas, okay? And yeah, that's it, okay? You just need to, to take this Docker Compose, okay and run in your machine so this is the only thing that we need okay we have the dependency for spring cloud stream okay i i, I just explained you guys what is spring cloud stream uh, and you have the docker running kafka maybe you don't need worker but you need kafka in your machine okay so let's just go here in our service and here, as we can see, we are creating a customer, okay? So this is the good place, okay, to, to, to start implementing the first example. So in order to, to do that, we need, we, we need first to add uh, or to inject the stream bridge, okay, um, component, the, the spring uh, uh, bridge bin in our um service implementation okay so in that order let me just do as we did before stream bridge okay let's call it by stream bridge and let's use here the annotation to inject it guys it's very nice but as you know i like to do other way which is injecting through um constructor okay so I'm just going to inject it using uh, the private final and this annotation, which is Lombok annotation, will help me to inject into constructor, okay? Or inject through constructor. So in that order, here where we create the customer, 
I'm just going to, for example, do it like this. Let's call it by customer, customer created. And yeah, now the next thing that we are going to do, we are going to use this interface, the stream bridge. If we take a look here, stream bridge allow stream, uh, this, this, inter, this, this class, not interface, this class allows user to send the data to an output binding, okay? So what is a binding, okay? What, what is talking about, okay? So let's just see. So the first thing, okay, we are going to use the method send and we are going to give the name of the binding, okay? Actually, the binding is, uh, let's say, like a, 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 a manner that Spring Cloud Stream or Spring Integration before, okay, used to connect, okay, to connect uh, your application to a particular uh, messaging broker system, okay, messaging middleware system. For example, it's just going to connect it into our, for example, customer, uh, our Kafka topic. Let's call the topic by customer, okay, let's call customer. Uh, I know that, okay, let's just leave it like this, customer, okay, this is the name of the binding name which is customer, as we can see here, guys, we don't have anything here. So when you use it the first time, it will create a topic, okay? It will connect your application, uh, uh, it will connect your application to your uh, messaging middleware system, which is uh, with help of this dependency, okay? And the next, the next thing that you need to do is just to send the data, okay? So in our case, it's the customer created data. So doing that, our application will connect to our Kafka broker, okay? We'll create a topic by default, okay? It's not a good, uh, uh, um, yeah, by default. And, and it will send this data that we are going to create here, okay? So let's just return here, the customer created, okay? And now let's run our application. Okay, as we can see, the application is running. Let's just go here to AKHQ. Okay, there is nothing yet. Okay, so now we need to use the controller, the, the postman, okay, in order to send the data. Okay, so now let's just, for example, just like this, for example, the name um, Keanu Reeves. I don't know if it's correct, okay? So let's just give, for example, a birth date. I don't know when he was born by, like, let's just do it like this. Uh, so just like, like this, and let's create. Okay, we have created here a new customer. And now let's check the AKHQ. Let's just refresh. You can refresh or you can just use here the search one. Okay, now we can see the customer topic. Okay, it's a topic. In Kafka, we have topic, not uh, queue. Okay, but it's the same concept. So customer, we have, it has, it has created. Okay, it created the, 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 the customer topic. And now we have here data, one register. So. Uh, one data. So if we check here, yes, we can see, we can see that we have created, we just, with small configurations, we just sent an event. It's fantastic. This is what I love using Spring Boot in Spring Cloud Stream. You don't need too much configurations. It's just dependency and interfaces and classes and helps or utilities and everything is okay, right? So let's just create one more. For example, here, let's say Cristiano here, Ronaldo, and let's just give it like this. For example, I don't know when he was born, and let's just say like this. Okay, see so you at, let's just use Hotmail. Okay. And now let's create a new customer, Cristiano Ronaldo. Let's just create another one. For example, um, Steve Jobs. Okay. 
okay uh, like this and let's create okay now let's go to our akhq topics okay as we can see we have some new customers we have the Ken Reeves, which was the first. We have Cristiano Ronaldo and we have Steve Jobs. So this is very nice, guys. In order to, to send an event in Kafka using Spring Cloud Stream, it's very easy. You just need the dependency and I can just say like this class, okay? This is the first example. Of course, we are going to learn more about uh, this. And we can see here our application actually is connected to our Kafka broker. As you can see, localhost, this is the, the default, default uh, uh, port host, okay, that Kafka uh, is, 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 is running, okay? And as we can see here, some metadata, okay, of Kafka, just to show you guys that we are actually using Kafka, okay? This is the, the value serializer and so on. So, with very small configurations, we have sent an event, okay? We have connected our application to a messaging broker, okay? Messaging middleware broker. So, um, the next video, we are going to explore more about Spring Cloud Stream and some very nice features that we can use on our daily, um, our daily uh, development, okay? Software development. So, guys. Let's go to the next video.